My paper will be on a wider issue, not what uh, children do in social media, but how we as uh, adults, as uh, tutors and teachers can find our place in that, and even more broadly, how they can use the situation positively. Also, those who are managing their schools, how the energy of young persons can be uh, harnessed. So we are going to say about new relationships springing up and uh, referring to the new space. That term new media, which is um, uh, used quite often, and uh, we are threatened often by this. Uh, I often go to conferences and I'm uh, being uh, threatened by that. We more often uh, hear about threats and less frequently about positives. That may be due to the fact that positive solutions are part of our life and we no longer see them. We are comfortable. We feel their absence only when we lose our um, network and the computer is cut off from other media. Then we say, oh my God, so many positive things which have been lost. However, when they are available, we are tending to focus on threats. And there is this question whether every generation has its own media because uh, nowadays we say that new media, especially internet and mobile phones, uh, provide threats. But I remember that uh, my mother used to be threatened and apprehended by television. So if we were to go back in time, it may turn out that our ground uh, parents were threatened by radio. For example, they would be looking behind a radio set, uh, trying to find the people who are talking to them. You always need some time to get accustomed to a new media, typical for uh, your generation. So we have to find our way. If we ask ourselves a question, is it possible to limit new media or can we not use them, everyone will say no. If we don't have the uh, possibility to live without them, we have to do everything we can to tame them and to adjust them. This is an illustration of what happened over the years. In the 70s and 80s, it seemed that there is no other media as television. There are no f other forms of life. We were so much focused on television. But then we saw the emergence of first computers, but I also remember the, uh, the, the horror on the face of my mother who used to work in a bank and she was really shocked when they ask, asked her to use this uh, tool. Her colleague said that she prefers to get pregnant and uh, go for a maternity leave rather than use the computer. Today, the times have changed. A few years ago, so we said that if you, if there is nothing, if there is, if you can't find something in a search engine, then it probably doesn't exist. So this ecological and uh, technological progress changes the way we live and the way we play. And of course, the man, apart from the fact uh, that he needs to have a son, uh, uh, build a house and plant a tree, he needs to also set up his website. This is uh, the cartoon. And probably he would uh, also have to run a blog. Since the new media changed and every generation has its own media, the, the behavior changes. When we take a look at how pupils uh, used to behave uh, 15 or 20 years ago and how they behave now, we can see that the relations have been loosened even in even online. And I can see that uh, uh, on my students that they are very mobile and they are loose uh, in comparison to offline. There still are persons who um, cross the boundaries, be it offline or online. And sometimes they uh, 
uh, transfer the behavior from online to offline. And we also uh, hear this uh, stereotype that uh, it is uh, due to internet that uh, the students are uh, misbehaving. But if we remember what happened 15 or 20 years ago, and we also had students who were crossing some boundaries because there were, they didn't have a good example at home. So we have to think whether it, it is internet which generated um, bad behavior or the lack of interpersonal relations not resulting from a, a new media. We also see the uh, emergence of the new barrier because we often say uh, stereotypically that uh, all the persons know everything and the youngsters uh, are so very comfortable in the uh, internet. However, the research which wa was presented showed that it is not the case. The generation of teachers already used internet for 20 years. So this is a generation which is more adept at internet than their students, who, that's right, are absorbing uh, novelties very quickly, but it is uh, often a superficial knowledge, and uh, they have some problems and they may get lost. So uh, the generation of teddy bear should be a guide for young persons. The world of uh, young persons in new media is very complicated and difficult. Since they use uh, various forms of new media, they are not always uh, best at making choices because they want to test everything. Uh, all the Internet instruments, which may not be well adjusted to their needs, or they are not uh, reading the rules or uh, instructions. Since it's fashionable, they try to use it. How could we characterize new media and what changed? Since uh, Internet was around for a long time, in 1996, uh, we had first Internet links and first attempts at communicating uh, in Internet. What has changed? Um, by 2004, we saw a qualitative change because we now have interactive instruments. I remember in, remember in uh, the Internet um, from uh, 2006, uh, we would say it was interactive, but nowadays it would be considered very inactive. Right now we have uh, interactive social media and blogs. Uh, everywhere we can interact, we can share, we can uh, be active and communicate. This is the basic role which was uh, given to um, the recipients. So we are not only absorbing the information, but we also want to process the information. That's why uh, the so-called likes are so popular, or comments that you can add to many elements. Today, at the very beginning, we sat that we saw the emergence of a new type of individual on the Internet, which is especially um, prevalent among youngsters. The, a creator or a creative person, this is a certain classification by what they do in the Internet. The results uh, are not summing to 100 because um, we can take on various roles. So, for example, if I'm interested, in internet, uh, more specifically in politics or sociology, I will be active on this kind of forums. Uh, however, if I'm a, a person collecting stuff, I will be active um, in different sites. For example, if I want to uh, acquire certain skills and I don't want to be active then I'm choosing other sites why am I showing that because that uh, is uh, right for both adults and teenagers and it shows two interesting things 
first that we have about 24% of uh, creative persons. Uh, other studies say that we have 40% of uh, such people. <coughs> But and we are not saying that uh, it is 100%. Not every young person who is present on the Internet is creating uh, something. It's from 24% to 40%. Percent. And uh, one but last category, the so-called uh, viewers, about 70% of the p- people, These, they hold accounts in the social media, they are reading blogs, they have accounts uh, in internet for us, but uh, they are not commenting, they are not active, they are passive observers. And 17% of persons who already registered somewhere and due to various reasons, for example, they take part in some contests, <coughs> 17% of the um, percent of the people who don't do anything. We say that these young persons are very much immersed in this uh, internet technology, but it is interesting that this is a form of a social relationship. Professor Opolsky, uh, during the ACTA campaign, and the, the protests of young persons against the government said that uh, this is not a group of IT specialists. And, uh, this is uh, young persons who are um, standing for their right to uh, communicate freely. And also the research shows that uh, these young persons very often don't see the difference between offline and online. For them, the worlds are same. They have the same social group in the classroom and then on a social um, program. They uh, enjoy both uh, having a phone conversation and uh, communicating through social media. And the question that we should ask, where are the directors, where are the teachers, uh, where is the school in all that? Also uh, referring to control um, uh, creation of the content. We remember that we have 40% of the creative persons and they have higher than average uh, IT competencies. Mm, these are the persons who are um, uh, blogging, they are developing websites, they are modifying uh, various elements, they are uh, commenting, they may be very harsh, and also one should uh, teach them uh, how one should express the criticism. Anyway, they are uh, active on the social media. And I also just heard that I need to be uh, coming to an end. So where is a student or a pupil? Uh, things that we would never think about. We have some persons who are writing poems. Uh, In our times, we would put them uh, in uh, the drawers, but right now they have uh, websites. These poems were published in the past, and now um, the young uh, persons ask for their uh, poems to be commented. They want to have the feedback, and this is an interesting feature. A bulk of uh, block sphere are the uh, persons, young girls, who are very keen of uh, fashion and uh, they are showing how uh, they can use uh, the mother's clothes to, um, uh, to, to look fashionable. It is uh, also the portals and blogs on uh, uh, reviews of films, literature, So something we would never think uh, about in, the, in terms of young person's interests. An example of a blog of my former student. Uh, she's not, not a teenager anymore. She uh, used to write it uh, in her, uh, just, just on the paper, but right now she's a stylist and she's working for big companies and uh, media. And her boyfriend, he used to um, take pictures and put it in a drawer, but right now he takes um, pictures of celebrities, and this is how he makes uh, money. So he turned his uh, passion and hobby into profession. Where is the teacher? 
we say that teacher tends to hide, uh, are not active on the internet. However, if we um, take a closer look, we will see that they have blogs, maybe not as often as young persons. But this is connected with the fact that one uh, needs to be very um, uh, consistent about his blogging having. He needs to spend a lot of time and one needs to um, have uh, something to say. What can a teacher and uh, student do together? Here you have some examples of uh, a newsletter in the school. It can uh, serve as an educational aid. It can be an element of the class. Uh, so young persons are teaching one another, and we were talking about peer education, but we also referred to the reverse education. Very often we, ha we see the situation that even though we are uh, older and more mature, our knowledge in certain areas may not be um, as uh, wide and deep as uh, in case of young persons. I'll try to um, summarize it within 30 seconds, and these elements will uh, contribute to uh, development of an image of a school. Here we have an example of uh, mathematics. We have an interview where this teacher is talking about his private life and his passions. And uh, for a student, it is an education element. He's um, uh, learning how to conduct an interview. Uh, the teacher can show a different face. And uh, the school can show that we are using and harnessing the energy of young persons. And we are also using uh, modern technologies. One of uh, the blocks of uh, a school's uh, which uh, comprises uh, many interactive uh, features. I'm just showing you one slide, but uh, if you need the links, I can provide it to you. And you can see that uh, there are elements of uh, different activities that a teacher is involved with uh, students. So uh, we have to remember that uh, there are many interesting things happening in the school and they are not always published. One should uh, think about uh, promoting such activities. We also have wiki elements which uh, are used to gather the knowledge. For example, a teacher with students are creating their own textbook. This can be an element which is uh, developed over a semester where a team of uh, students uh, under a project can create one uh, chapter of a textbook. So we have three values. Uh, a student is showing his knowledge, is acquiring new skills, is absorbing uh, the knowledge, and this element that he will develop may be used um, in the further instruction. I'm from the city of Koszalin. I'm from the city of Koszalin. You probably remember the late uh, Andrzej Lepe, a deceased politician from the self-defense movement. I will try to move up. Um, in the schools, we have the uh, internet websites. Um, Uh, they've been around for about 20 years in our schools, so every school usually tend to have this element, but uh, there are not many schools which um, uh, are on Facebook. They are afraid because uh, they may get some negative comments. Everyone will have uh, the right to say something not very comfortable for them. Uh, so the schools have um, uh, certain doubts whether they should enter the social media. And they are thinking about strategies, what to do if they have any negative comments. Mm, uh, so they are thinking how to block the, the social media. There are some uh, uh, schools, high schools or secondary schools, which um, hand it over to students. Now, uh, YouTube. I don't have time to discuss it and show it. However, 
when I saw the number of uh, clips of this kind, it seems that this is a great idea to develop an international uh, project as part of one subject or within one school because this is a great element. It was selected by um, uh, all the students, select first music um, and other elements. So in the process, they learn a lot of competencies and they acquire many skills which develop their passions. We also covered the reverse education, whereby uh, students uh, teach um, uh, teachers. Probably you, you haven't used uh, Second Life. And this is also a great element, because uh, when uh, students see it, they want to, to play with that. Because, for, for example, use the right um, button of the mouse to teleport, or they have uh, very interesting modern um, features. We can create virtual rooms. We can create um, virtual rooms connected with the tradition of a school. And this stays in this room, so other schools can also take advantage of our resources. In summary, how can one use uh, the new space or new relationships, and how positively can one use these elements? First of all, we should focus on the soft uh, competencies which we have within uh, new media. Satisfaction of um, teachers and students. I did some projects with students who, at the outset, were not very happy but later, they were quite pleased, and they said that uh, they would like to have other subjects and topics covered in this way. It requires uh, a lot of uh, classes from the teachers. Uh, it is also a successful uh, educational uh, process. It improves uh, the efficiency of learning when one uses social media, and also it is a good idea to come up with a set of rules so that we don't have uh, some uh, unwanted elements uh, public, published uh, on the network. Integration of members of the school, that uh, improves the integration because the work of a, the, the work of a one-year project or half-a-year project and creates a different kind of contact between a teacher and pupil. It is more interactive. Uh, work in a team, design uh, work is always a better integration tool. Now the image of a school. Media at some point will notice that uh, school is doing something cool, so you will not have a problem to uh, reach uh, electronic media. Now, usually, the television or radio comes to the school when something wrong is happening. Uh, good news is not very much wanted by uh, television, radio, and newspapers, but in this way, we can reach them. And the school also can create their own media, for example, by using YouTube or their own channels of communication. Uh, in the left uh, side, I saw the potential emergency situations or crisis situations which cannot be um, uh, neglected. I will try to focus on the positive things, but we also have to realize that there may be persons who will uh, try to um, destroy the good things that uh, were done in, in the school. It is important in managing an emergency to quickly uh, prepare contingencies how we are going to go about such a situation we've already covered it so prevention rather than responding to the uh, crisis and sorry for exceeding my deadline and you also have my uh, uh, website and uh, email address if you want to reach me